Three, two, one. Guys, I have a big honking ass pimple on my face. I've been pissed about it all day. I'm honestly so angry. Dude, same here. It's right here. You gotta speak up. I <laughs> I, I told you, we don't have podcast mics, you're gonna have to speak up like we're making a video. Okay, well, same here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, start with the top. Welcome to the Nameless Podcast. That's not the name, we just don't have a name. <laughs> Honestly, this isn't a podcast. Dude, this is, this is a long video. It's not gonna be a podcast, it's gonna be just a voice recording of us. Yeah, dude. One, two, three. Okay. The sober cast. You're doing okay. a good impression of Lonnie starting the video. Do you guys remember when I did that? Dude, that was a good time. One, two, three. That was good times, you gotta admit. I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't watch this channel, why are you watching this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't, I, this podcast is me. My name is Lonnie, and then we got... I'm pointing to him, he's not paying attention. <laughs> um, my name? Yeah. <laughs> I want to think of like a better name. Think of, okay, I'll point at the other one. Be Red Jenkins! Oh my god. That means Brad. <laughs> nope, it does not. It doesn't mean Brad. It means bourbon. <laughs> my last name is Bobby. On bourbon. the internet, for like no reason, for like the past couple years, I've gone by the freaking alias Stephen Alive, and I really don't know where I Brad came alive. up with that. Well, I don't, I know you didn't mean this literally, but I know, I don't know why you came up with that, but I know where you came up with that. Where? <laughs> you came up with that at a McDonald's in Florida. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> How do you remember that? I don't know. Actually, now that you say that, I think I was like really into watching like Live Lava Live back then, and I like. And that guy's li he's alive right now. I'm like, <laughs> I want to aspire to be like. No, like you know how he has like a play on words, like what? It's a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I can't fuck? believe you remember that. Oh god. Oh, cause, like he has like a play on words, like Live Lava Live, and then like lava kind of combines into live, so it's kind of like. Love alive, love alive. And he hasn't know. died yet, so I mean, he's doing something. I right? took that and I was like, oh, that'd be close to even alive. My little, like, 14 year old self. And here uh, we are. Yeah. And then my first Twitter uh, was Brad Dead. Was, was it? it? Yes. <laughs> It what? was, because I was trying to make fun of Steven. Because I'm a dirty guy. And, <laughs> and then you're like, screw that, then, I'm Brad Alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. And then I think, yeah, I think the second one was like Brad Alive, and then that was when I was like sipping the amp. And then it like turned into Brad to the bone. Bo -bo 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 Brad. <laughs> Bo -bo 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 Brad. Dude, um, my username then, has always just been my first name, because I'm fucking unoriginal. Yeah. I let my mom pick my social media. What's your Twitter name now? Your Twitter Brad name? Alive? No, it's 1-800-BRAD. You should call oh. that number, by the way. You should oh, yeah, <laughs> cut him up with a text, maybe, sexting, if you want to, like, <laughs> oh, send no. Brad a picture of your willy. Oh, no. I don't know. You're a willing I, vagina. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no <laughs> that's a little more <laughs> creepy. Man, podcast that, over, banned from the internet. Is that <laughs> sexist to think that that's creepier than saying willy? <laughs> I mean, They're both whatever. creepy to me, so... Alright, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else. Doesn't Anyways, we have no topics. <laughs> I was just gonna say, wait, we have a topic. Uh, we don't even have a name. We just, like... Alright, guys, perfect topic. Uh... Hashtag show. Uh, pedophile. No, 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 no. We got his name. You can't say his name. No, no. All right, so. He's creepy. We, okay. Dude. We, this is a weird time to say this, because we don't live in the same house anymore. We used to all be roommates, but we've also known each other since we were, like, seven. No, and seven. now, they just recently moved out. But basically, while we were living oh, here, Brad. But, but, but Brad, while we were living here, we had this creepy neighbor, and I still have him. He's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> no. For, I don't know what to call. We can't say his name. Okay, this isn't his real name, but let's call him. Oh my god! I can't, even, I can't even keep a straight face. I, this is a podcast. I, I can't see your you, face. Don't worry. Your I face can be as gay as you want. I cannot react. Dude. You can make the most homo face you want, dude. I cannot oh not god. react to that. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no, Dias. This tense. This is going to the trash. Um, I've got that part. We got a. We got a neighbor. I was so down to be his friend. Oh, the police are here. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages from the law. <laughs> All right, what are what are the messages? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Stop. <laughs>
You stop this. <laughs> what are you doing? What's the weirdest experience we had with this neighbor? Oh, uh, well. I want to kiss you, bro. <laughs> That's true. Okay, we, we each, I think, well, had our own unique experience. With Hon them, like, honestly, most please. of mine were like one minute long when I got out of my car coming into the house. So yeah. I guarantee you it's drunk as shit. I like, Steven, <laughs> I like Steven's experiences with him the best. <laughs> mine was just like I tried to hang Here's out with him. Well, yeah, he actually recently threw a rock at me for no reason, which is cool. Hey, but I mean, car or at you? I don't know, cause it, I Are was you in out of your car. No, I was in my car so in the garage, just sitting in my car, like getting ready, like putting music on, and I heard like, and I'm like, what the hell? And then wait, did he hit your car? And then fake uh, name is walking away. And I don't think he hit my car, that's the thing. Like, I think he could have easily if he wanted to, because I'm pretty sure he took the the rock out of my front yard. <laughs> so, like, he was very close. Oh. So I'm pretty sure he just, like, threw it towards me, but either way, it was, like, a pretty dick move. So he just, uh, <laughs> smacked your, uh, car. Yeah, my ass. Your ass. Uh, mine were, like, uh, mine were, like, okay. well, the first time I ever met him, he was really intoxicating. Brad was talking into a microphone, by the way. I also don't know if we even finished saying our name. Stephen and Brad are my friends, and my name is Lonnie. <laughs> like the YouTube channel, etc. <laughs> and Brad, you can't say. <laughs> Damn it! I want to talk about our creepy neighbor, but now I want to talk about my experience oh, with Brad's no. "I'm a pedophile" oh, no. fucking ongoing did meme. Oh, Who, Lynn. Brad? Yeah, did he just say that? Again? Yeah, he sure did. Okay. <laughs> so Brad has this thing where. He I mean, we all have this thing, because when we're in the privacy of our own home, which is now my home, we say things to shock each other that aren't on camera. Oh, no! And sometimes... Stop it! <laughs> and sometimes Brad has been known to come up to me and Steven, stick his head out Steven's car window, and scream, I'm a pedophile! <laughs> just... I, one time I did... No we other... just so happened to live one across time, the middle school, so that was <laughs> perfectly okay. One time I did his full name. What time so I did his full name? You remember that? I do. But uh, then the problem. Right see, from the middle school. That's where the courthouse. <laughs> the problem stems from this. It's actually. Is kind of it's guilty. totally fine when it's between us. It's a little wrong now that we're on camera saying it, <laughs> but we're explaining the context right, so we're not going to get arrested. I hope. Uh. <laughs> Wait. That's a perfect time for that. We're not going to get arrested. I hope. Oh shit! <laughs> First podcast. <laughs> oh man. But um. Basically, the problem is that I uh, spend too much time with you guys. Um, so I go to California, I hang out with my other friends, and I quote things that Brad says, such as, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and my friends really, like, pull me aside eventually. They're like, that is not okay. <laughs> like, I'm not even, I don't even know if it's funny. <laughs> Did that really happen? It, and then it, it did. Oh. Shout out to Eddie Torres. Oh and then God. you're like, make videos no sense, boy. Make videos no sense, boy. I'm not even pedophile's ironic, bitch. Bitch, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm covered in so much irony, I'm like a cool guy. <laughs> I, I could have a Twitter cool account, guys. two or maybe two. Anyway, what's, while we're what's talking about Jimbo, what's popping, Jimbo? I fucking love, about the I love that guy. I'm so <laughs> glad you followed him. Finally. I tagged him in, in one of my uh, Twitter posts. I remember. He didn't, I don't think he responded to it though. Probably not. Because he's a loser! Shout out to Bill Ratchet, best Twitter account. He doesn't follow the best Twitter account though. Which is 1 800 Brad, call my number, give me a genital pic, <laughs> as discussed previously. Oh god. It feels like we've been talking for an hour, it's been eight minutes. It definitely is. We were talking about our neighbor. What's, uh, Steven, your weirdest experience with him? My weirdest experience with him? Just your favorite. I don't know that they're weird, <laughs> they're just like. <laughs> I just would rather have not had them. <laughs> Like all together, like I just get out of my car, like getting home from work, and he's just always sitting outside on his porch, and he's just like, "Fuck you, man!" <laughs> so that's your favorite, right? And he's just like, "I'm like, why? What did I do to you? I just got home from work." He just like, doesn't know how to socialize. Yeah. Wait, and then like what? the next night, <laughs> what? I feel like we need to put those cool lights on. Oh yeah. Cue well, we're not it's having. Not well, there's no video. Oh. Like, we're, 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 don't break the illusion, Brad, we're using professional podcast <laughs> microphones. Wait. I have a lot of money. <laughs> Wait, but, uh. I will put the what lights is, on, though. What is, uh, Mr. Agnum 22? Is what? that, like, when he does those interviews, aren't those podcasts? Or? You're talking about No Jumper? Yeah. Do you think we're on that he, level? I think he does do podcasts. That's like yeah. a yeah. But he That's does, what I he imagine does, He does podcast. do videos since it's YouTube. Because yeah. I know, well, I know you watch that one where it's like, uh. 
For the listeners out there, I turned the cool lights on in the background. I really hope there's video. That'd be so funny. Uh, I don't want there to be. I have a big pimple as discussed in the first three weeks. <laughs> so do I. I love podcasts, but podcasts are generally just audio. Yeah. It's usually like on SoundCloud. Okay. Well, I've always envisioned... If this sounds like shit, no, it's not because we're using bad equipment. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but Brad broke the illusion episode one, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, no well, jump. No jump. hundred years. No jumper uses good microphone. But he always has been. Listen, if you were XXX what in Tarnation, I would get better microphones. Like, but I just don't respect you. <laughs> <laughs> so is that like the only oh, wow. podcast you've ever watched? Is is that one? I mean, it's pretty good. I, I mean, like, I watch. What like podcast do you watch? I watch. I, I watch a lot of like iOS gaming they like, podcasts and stuff. Is that what it is? What? Where they you're like watching like the gaming video and then they do the voices behind it. It's hmm. and they're always talking. The one that talked about like the SpongeBob and shit. Remember when I walked in and they were talking oh, that about was some a, weird that was a that was a Game Grumps show. That's okay. not really you a podcast. You watch those a lot though, don't you? Yeah, Game Grumps is that, the best. Cuz I always see you watching that. <laughs> I love that. And I, that's what I thought you were like watching like yeah. a gaming I mean, they they pretty much something. are a podcast, but they do it 10 minute episodes basically. But they're I'm, they're really I'm, funny. I'm not like big in a podcast, but I do like podcasts and I'd like to listen to more. But like I do, I I like uh, the Boys Only podcast because I like Stephen Subtick. Yeah, he's funny. And like Stephen Subtick is so good, and he's like a perfect example of something that's really good that's getting attention right now. Yeah. Because well, like that's the only po- or not podcast. That's the oh, whoa. That's <laughs> <I> Steve. <did. laughs> <I did>. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Subtick's the only YouTuber that any of my friends are talking about right now. Uh, and that's super dope because usually it's like. Jake Paul, <laughs> or another minor. Jake, Jake Paul is a fucking douchebag. No, oh my god, can no. we say that? <laughs> I don't, I don't give a fuck about his it's He's fine. rich and I hate him. Oh I god. hate him. I don't hate him, I just don't like his content. Like, I don't like any of the yeah, minors' content. Yeah, I hate content. him because of the content that he makes. This, I need to, yep. How do we turn that off? Nope. <laughs> we don't turn it off, it's fine. Oh god. No, I saw like that Jake Paul music video or whatever. That, that was, was real out. bad, oh that my god. Like, dear lord. Okay, so, yeah. did he like make a movie? <laughs> I don't know. I think he like made it. It might have been Logan Paul. Logan Paul, yeah. yeah. I yeah, it took me a while to realize that those were like brothers or whatever yeah. the fuck they are. Jake Paul like, is the biggest the fastest growing YouTuber right now. Yeah, good for him. He's oh, yo. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no! We already have to delete this podcast. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. So far we've offended everybody. We talked about <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. You're his brother. Say a different word that we can replace that with. Boyo. Boyo. Okay, cool. So we'll just censor that out. It's fine. He's just said that he called him a boyo. <laughs> then they'll be really confused as to why we're freaking out. Dude, Jake Paul is a boyo. I was t- t- channeling my inner Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I keep talking at the ceiling. I hope that sounds okay. <laughs> anyway, Brad, what's your weirdest experience with our neighbor whose name is not... Nope, can't say it. Can't say it. All right. Well, I'll say it. It's not. Basically, even... he was like, "Can I kiss you?" And that's not like a weird experience. <laughs> He's arrested for being <laughs> attracted to men. That is never to be in this room again. <laughs> oh God. That's not a weird experience, but I mean, I mean, maybe if it's never happened. So you, then, I think he just went about it's it. It's not weird. weird. It's uncomfortable. If there's he... no video. We can turn these lights off. And I turned them on for you, Brad! No, we can have those lights off, and then we can have these cool lights on. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> now the yeah, ambiance. Now, 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 it's now the mood is set. Yes. We are sober make, during this podcast. But make them change. It's, make the lights change listen, colors. All right. What I, what's happening right now? I'm taking out my Hue Lights app, and I'm passing it to Brad so that he can control the lights and make whatever ambiance he prefers. <laughs> Oh no. What else are we. <laughs> we gotta talk about <laughs> something now. <laughs> At all times! Never yeah. turn it up. Yeah. So, we were talking about like your favorite podcast, and we only got to like one. <laughs> yeah. Brad, what's your best podcast you've been on? Ever. Uh, <laughs> Naughty Dose. Naughty. <laughs> That's the best podcast in the world. That's the best YouTube channel in the world. Naughty Dose is my favorite Subscribe. podcast. He plays iPhone games on his podcast. Brad Alive. Brad on his iPod. Brad is iPod. <laughs> Brad's iPod's my podcast. Have you watched Fuck the... That. 
Have you watched that McCafferty podcast yet? Yeah, oh yeah. I dude. don't even know the password to that account, to be honest. To, be Maca- to the McCafferty account. No, to the Brad. I can't sign account. into my band. I'm like, fuck it. I, I got so many songs I want to post, I can't get on. We're, got, we're screwed. Oh. Honestly, like, there was... The only other podcast, like, besides the Boys Only podcast that I really ever listened to was this one in my car, like, that was on Spotify, because I, like, only ever use Spotify, so... Yeah. Uh, it had to be on Spotify, and I was listening to, like... A I've movie. actually never listened to a podcast on Spotify. <laughs> I want to get into them, because I would love to listen to like, podcasts while I'm driving to work and stuff. You weep. You're a weird I guy. What are you, like, humans? What do you think humans are cool? What is, what is this? Well, like, because it's just, like, talk radio, but mostly most of the time on talk radio... It, talk like, radio talk is about so... about nothing good. But, like, podcasts are so modern that it's, like... Okay, it's interesting if you're interested in who's talking. Yeah. Talk radio is so foreign to me that it's interesting. <laughs> like, you turn it on and they're talking about, especially in Wisconsin. Dude, we're in, like, the middle of nowhere. They're on a talk radio show talking about the planets. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Who, who's listening to They're probably listening to, like, NPR. They just, like, do, like... The only time stuff. I've listened to it is when you turn yeah. it on. Dude, that's, yeah. that's all Dad listens to I do on like radio. that. It's I like that shows. talk radio. That they actually do, like, it. good... No! Educate. No, Dad Steven. Do you like Dad Steven, you're Steven dead to me. <laughs> you're not alive anymore. <laughs> you change your Twitter. Okay, but the only other podcast I ever listened to in my car was like a Ruby on Rails podcast, which is like boring. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Dad. All right, all right. Okay, so one time because I don't my... even I don't even like use Ruby on Rails. One of my orth- like to... one of my orthopedic appointments when I had braces and shit. Like, so we had to drive like an hour away. Dad. Literally listened to fucking some talk show talking about flowers the whole <laughs> hour there. Flowers? <laughs> yes, I don't even remember what, but it, I was like, Dad, turn this off. And he was like, No. He's like, You are my not. son. You will learn about the florist. You are my son. You are my truck. It's my radio. I own everything. I'm the wisest. I'm a cool guy. I'm the whitest kids you know. <laughs> I'm a pretty cool guy. I'm a pretty nice You're guy. Little. Cookie! I don't watch things on Facebook. Well, and I can't be. imagine why anyone does. Because. because ah. Okay, that is not going to get old. <laughs> But uh, so, Brad does. I know this because he shares a lot of it on his Facebook. What memes? Just everything. I'm yeah. pretty sure you don't watch anything without sharing it. Am I wrong? <laughs> my Facebook is myspace at lonnie.com. Oh, God. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Brad, I don't know where I said. Honestly, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> what Facebook? Yeah. I don't even use Facebook. Yo, anymore. let's talk about tattoos. Let's talk about a good tat. You ever have a tit, a tat, etc.? D, Steven. I don't know anything about tattoos. I have tattoos. a question I don't have Steven. a tattoo. Do you want a tattoo? No. You don't? Stop it. No. For the listeners out there, Steven and Brad are touching each other uncomfortably. No, no Brad's just touching me and I'm <laughs> trying to stop On that. the shoulder, you fucking weirdo. All right, you just, sound weird. I just want to touch you, man. man. <laughs> touching your penis. Oh, man. Oh, anyway. God. Come here, man. Ah. For the listeners out there, we're all naked. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. For like, love. we're... Like I said, known each other since we were seven. <laughs> All right, so the sober podcast needs to actually be sober, I think. <laughs> no, definitely does not. It's, it's not a sober. control. I don't like that name either. Yeah, that doesn't need to exist. <laughs> it's not the sober podcast. It's the sober cast. 20 minutes ago, Brad was the, telling us that we, we, he was demanding that we come upstairs and make a podcast. And me, me, Lonnie, if you can't distinguish our voices, <laughs> and uh, Stephen were like, Dude, uh, I want to do a podcast, but it's not the time. <laughs> we, have, we have nothing planned. <laughs> but Brad insisted, so we're doing it, and I think it's going okay. I it, well, Good. I like okay. that we did do this because it like makes me really want to do it. Yeah, exactly, you stupid whore. Be- That's what I was saying. <laughs> okay, but, okay, but. <laughs> oh my I, god. But I want to do it, like, for real. Nothing got you motivated besides this, because nobody fucking was motivated. It's not that I, we weren't motivated. Well, it's like, it says nobody we just didn't know it besides like, Brad. We <laughs> wanted to do it, just it didn't think it was the proper time. Yeah, no, but, it's but if you Brad. ask me, it's never going to be the proper time, uh, so... Exactly, it would have never gotten done. I'm pretty sure I'll procrastinate myself to death. Well, this just, like, puts the bug in it. Like, I, like, I really want to do it now. It's fun. The passcode on my phone is 2323 if anyone wants to go on my phone. And play with the colors. Play with the colors on the lights that you it's can't fun. see right. Maybe we'll put up a little pic. We do have two video footages of it. Like, just flash it for... Oh, there we are. Oh, oh we're gone again. <laughs> that would oh. be cool to do, like, an interactive, like, 
video where they can change like your you like <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Just leave a comment what color you want the lights to be next time and uh, let me know. <laughs> How funny though if it would be like they could change the the uh, the like level of your intoxication. What if they could <laughs> comment and change like, my religion? Oh. What if they could ch pick my religion in the comments? Well, <laughs> there would be a lot of fucking hell raised. <laughs> oh god. Because the internet is very, very toxic and strange. What is your favorite thing you've ever seen on the internet? Probably a fucking Favorite? male penis. <laughs> a man's penis. <laughs> Went on Omegle.com like, ooh, this is my homepage now. Ooh, I love this page. Oh, fucking God. Fucking a big old... What's your uh, favorite hog. favorite like social media site that's like now dead? Now dead? Yeah. MySpace. <laughs> I did like MySpace a lot. That was probably the first one. But it doesn't just have to be like social media. It could be like... Well, you said social like, media. Uh, so it, has to be. <laughs> it, it could be... <laughs> All right, anyway, website where you like, I guess that's still social media. I'm not going to say it. Anyway, I don't know. Let's what just I go with that. About. What's your favorite social media that doesn't exist anymore? We got Stick Cam. We got that's Daily yeah. Boo. That's definitely mine, Stick Cam. Stick Cam. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I used to enjoy that. Because all I had was MySpace at the, at the time you guys were thriving with the social media. Thriving? Well, you guys were social media guys. We were social media gurus on like StickCam.com. Exactly. You go on Stick Cam, see some chick's tits. Like, I forgot no, that no, uh, no. we should, we should have introduced. Stick what? Yeah, it, it wasn't stick really Cam. Stick Cam. Yeah, that was Pornhub, dude. That was more like a Meagle, what do you see? But that's more like wangs. But I'm, you wangs. definitely could have seen tits if you tried. You I'll got those one chick's For sure, dude. Tits. They would have just been really you illegal. You did get those one chick's tits. I remember I saw it. What? I am really you confused. Me. Just Maybe this is like a brotherly thing that I don't understand. No, I don't even understand. <laughs> Maybe it was like, I saw love... Steven got some chick and she like sent her. Sent him. She like sent her tits in the mail. Or some shit or something. You, she sent you like a picture of tits. Oh, on Stickam? Yes! That's what I was fucking talking about. You're like, no, it's more like Omegle. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I forgot about that move. I don't. I, well, because like, I'm like starting, like, dude, my memory is so shit. But like, Same when here. you. I'm when you old. When you, when you when you start talking I'm about this stuff. Like, I'm starting, like, every word you say, I'm like, oh, I start to remember it. It's like piecing together. I'm like, oh, yeah, uh, I kind of remember that now. But yeah, that was that was weird though. That wasn't even like I didn't even like ask for it. It was it just kind of happened. It was just <laughs> like, hello, <laughs> here are my yeah, tits. All right. Uh, I've gotten that on Snapchat, but not it tits. Weird. It was just a dude's dick. <laughs> <laughs> but like oh several God. times. <laughs> In early Snapchat, er, now it doesn't happen Lonnie, anymore. But is your, er, what is one of your like channel Snapchats on right now? My snap. What? But My Snapchat's public, if that's what you mean. Both of them? No, just one of them. Which one? The Lonnie Dose. Is it, like... Tell me the private in? one, not air. Is, <laughs> is, is, the, is the public one signed in? Yeah, yeah. So can I go on it? Yeah, you can go on it, but it's not... I don't get anything... <laughs> I don't get anything cool anymore. No more cockins. Oh, God. <laughs> but, uh, no, now it's just, like, a bunch of... Like kids who used to watch my YouTube, they'll just I was basically just, make just a like. Story. Oh, okay, yeah, you could do that. But um, they'll just send like black screens that say streaks. I don't know when Snapchat streaks started, it's but I fucking thing. hate like, it. He was fucking gay. Because wow. now I can't see my precious dick pics because they get drowned out with people keeping our streak alive. And like, dude, come on. <laughs> so I'm saying early Snapchat was the golden age. Yeah. If you're trying to get dick pics that are unwarranted, I, I didn't like them. I didn't. Instagram. I didn't like them. <laughs> Instagram and Facebook are the new Snapchat. Snapchat silly was goose. definitely a cool idea. It was... You silly goose. Oh, it's Instagram me. Instagram and Snapchat are the favorites. So what you mean? We're making a thing right now. You see... For some reason I allowed... <laughs> For some reason I allowed Brad to take control of my public Snapchat. Now I have to change the battery on one of our professional podcast microphones. <laughs> so, BRB, <coughs> we're back. What were we talking about with our professional microphones? And our... <laughs> Fucking hacking voices. Yeah, our hacking voices. <laughs> Dude, this is just like a long vlog. All we're doing is screaming. <laughs> That's exactly what our vlogs are. It's perfectly fine. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of our lives. What's your deepest, darkest fear? I've got a big old hog and I'm afraid that it's going to kill me one day and suffocate me. Honestly, I fear that too. <laughs> I'm I don't know how, because I just don't see like, that. This dick might overthrow me someday. 
<laughs> oh my god! I'm oh. just kidding. We're normal people. <laughs> oh yeah. We're normal people. No, we're Minnesotans. So yeah, I'm gonna pick a cake. Don't yeah. live in Minnesota. <laughs> we definitely don't. How do you know? How do you know? Out Steven? of the fans, no. I'm gonna need you to prove that. Uh, the house uh, and the. <laughs> Stop it. Google I can already Apple. tell that we're talking over each other too much. We gotta get back. This is our first time ever doing this. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's probably not the best idea to do a podcast while you're intoxicated. We are not That's intoxicated. How dare you imply that? It's the best idea. I've only been doing heroin for a week. I mean, I'm I've really only been doing heroin for at least a week. Brad just got me on Snapchat saying <laughs> On my account. I dare you imply that. It's the best idea. All right, you stop. <laughs> this is just. All right, you gotta delete that. All right, Steven. I don't know. Steven, put it on your, this on is your important, head. Brad. Give me your attention. I need it, and I need to put it in my pocket like a piece of pizza for my man, Donovan. All right. <laughs> I <Sure>. forgot. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. What? Okay. What? <laughs> then where is Bill Cosby? Because <laughs> I miss that guy. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. Okay, why did Steven and Brad move out? Everyone's asking Lonnie like he's them. Steven, <laughs> you tell him. You, you, you cause and effect. You cause and effect <laughs> you? I don't know, because our lease was up and I'm a bad boy. I don't know. I'm, I'm a, a bad, bad boy. boy. I'm a bad boy. Alright, so. When Dude, some so guy. me, Lonnie, and Brad and lived together on for past year. One. You gotta, you gotta not read Snapchat right, out see, loud. We gotta focus on <laughs> one thing at a time here, Brad. So, fuck this. Fuck this. You did ask a question. Okay, yeah. You know, I intend to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Damn it! That sounds like someone who's not. Can you stop it? Can you stop it now? I'm not, I'm not, phone from him. I'm not Snapchatting. Take your phone. Saying, but okay, don't play. watch Snapchats <laughs> right now. You know, if, if you're gonna do a podcast, you I'll just put your phone in a puddle of Bill Cosby. But you gotta be involved in the podcast, you know. Oh man. Okay, continue. Oh, okay. So like the past year, we lived together. <laughs> Who is we? Me and Lonnie and uh, Bradley Boy. And Who are you? Aaron Williams. I am. And Aaron Williams has lived here too. <laughs> Aaron Williams is a great guy. I, I love like that him. guy. I, I really like that guy. I'd like to hang out with him again. He's um, a good boy. Yeah. Steven's taking a sip, and he was the only one talking, so I'm talking to fill time. Oh, oh. He was taking a, a fat sip oh. of uh, water. I don't know, man. It's like a combination of things. Please, it's, please, <laughs> please, Brad. <you know? laughs> Oh my god. What have we done? We're gonna we're we're doing it all night just saying are we? Yeah, we have fans a, listening. We have a road trip in the morning, like yeah, we're, we're going, gonna be driving like five hours together and me and Brad are gonna be really tired. <laughs> and I'll be at home taking a sleep. Yeah. Me and Steven are going on vacation. Lonnie's chilling here. No, I'm uh, going to Vacon. Last time yeah. me and oh yeah, but not like today. Tuesday. In two days. Um last time me and Steven went on the same vacation. I pulled an all-nighter and tried to sleep in the car and it didn't work, so it's going to be the same thing tomorrow and Steven's going to find that out tomorrow. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, staying up... It's not. Like, if I sleep in the car, fine. If I don't, I, it doesn't matter because we have, like, so much stuff to do. Like, you'll be outside, like, building tents. And yeah, that's going, what was shitty We're going it. camping. <laughs> 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 but, like, that keeps you awake. Like, it's not like you're, like, studying. Oh, that's 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 that. How dare you imply that's the best idea. Not time for that. I need you to Brad. fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but anyways, like vacation. I'm freaking stoked, dude. I not even just you go to the island. I do like going to the island, but like not even just that. Like just being out of freaking work for a damn week. Yeah. Feels amazing. Like and getting out of your routines. Like being in your same so routines much. all the time is not good for you. What me. you should do. Is be a YouTuber. I so you're at the same time you're out of work all the time and also in work all the time and then you go insane. See, I <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> no, no, I would really love not just being a YouTuber, but just being self-employed, yeah. where you don't like have to do anything you don't want to. Yeah. yeah. And besides, like, but at the same time you do because. But then you have like this never-ending drive, like never-ending thing <clears throat> eating yeah. at you. Like I have to keep doing stuff or else yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Fail and yeah. Some go people, broke. some people are better at it than others. Some people, I would say that I just am in work mode all the time. Yeah. I don't know how to turn it off, kind of. So like even the days where I do nothing, it's like 
I should be doing something. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well, I just killed myself. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, why'd you guys move out? We didn't get to talk about that. <laughs> that's, that's an uncomfortable topic. Listen here, I'm an uncomfortable guy. We're naked. All right, Brad, Brad and Nani here, they would... They, they, they were... They I mean, it's it's an important topic, because... Basically, I, I imagine... I Well, hold on. Oh. Sorry. I imagine that we'd put this on the vlog channel, right? The podcast, if we like it, right? Yeah. So... Like, so far, I haven't made any vlogs since you guys moved out, because it's not that, like, I can't make a vlog by myself, it's just, like, I don't know, I don't want to, because it's boring. I get that, yeah. But, like, I don't know. Basically, I haven't given them an update. I've done, like, Instagram live streams, and I've talked about you guys moving out, but obviously not everybody comes to those, so people are asking me, like, where the fuck you guys are, they're asking why there's no vlogs, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Shit happens. Life's fucking gay. <laughs> oh, no. That's all I gotta say. Oh. Woo! No, no, okay, no, no, no. anyways, no. Which one of us has the least filter? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not my fucking Brad friend. My friend Brad. My Brad friend. My friend Cosby Brad. Uh, basically, Lonnie and Steven picked me up from a sorry situation. And that's originally what happened. And then Steven could no longer be the person he was in the what? situation we were in. <laughs> this is because, my, this uh, might be one of the vaguest things I've ever heard. The yeah. least <laughs> ended in, so he got an right, car. This is basically, this is basically, car, and all right, let me explain. Bowl, like, and I was going to continue, he's but not he not listening continue, to us. <laughs> so we can both not continue. And then also I put the <laughs> put it in the spoon in the spoon <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> If that makes any sense, woo! All right, Stephen, make more sense of it, please. God, please, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, we're all, we're, us three are, like, very different people. But like, we're also, like, best friends. Yeah, I know. At the same time. We got that, but I, just, like, in the sense of, like, what we're doing, like, with our lives. Like, we all have different lives. Yeah. Listen, we all have different names. <laughs> and it's fine. I don't want us to all be named Lonnie. It would be cool. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Team I, Dignitas. All right, what were you saying? <laughs> Team, what? I don't even know what that is. that it? Do I have to take that out? <laughs> Team Dignitas. I don't know what that is. Esports. <laughs> oh, Professional God. League of Legends. It was. Uh, Indian spot in I went to, Steven took me to Dick's Sporting Goods today, as he does, because I get in his car and I don't question where we're going. Then I just end up <laughs> places that I don't want to be. So we're at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I'm like, I don't see the esports section. This is racist. <coughs> the it's racist. It's a racist. I need the League of Legends gear. I need finger guards for clicking minions. I need uh, wrist guards for jacking. <clears throat> Hey, you B were saying? <laughs> B-Dubs plays esports at their restaurants sometimes. Do they? That's so cool. I, I think, uh, like all the sporting goods stores, should get on uh, their level. They should put on their level. On their level. Just kidding. No. Woo! 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 Please don't, actually. <laughs> what are you, Brad? Just, why? Okay, what were we talking about? <laughs> what? I had to snap the fucking woman back. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to get a guy. I don't know, man. Like, like, I don't know, man. Just There's say the real, riggedy, the real, riggedy, riggedy, riggedy rat. Just whatever Brad just said, but also say the real thought process. It doesn't matter. Like you've told. Oh, the them. real thought process? No, the, the fake. <laughs> I want to make it up. I want to make up a fairy tale. Okay, so I'm a I'm a Stephen man. Oh really? This it's hot. It's so hot in here. What it's the so hell? hot. It's hot. It's like 600 before. degrees. It's way better now. I Just don't. drink more alcohol. Is he hot? Exactly. I mean water. Okay. Drink more alcohol, not water. So basically, a big mix. You sold of me out. Lonnie, I don't know what your plans are. You're just like down for anything. I'm down to die. <laughs> Any time oh, no. in the future. Oh no. <laughs> Any time within the next minute. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Okay, stop interrupting. <laughs> Both of us. Not just you. Both of us. <laughs> not just, actually just me. Alright, so it was just like a big mix of things. Like, I... Oh, our lease was up in, like, March, right? So I was looking at that, <laughs> like, trying to plan some things out. I had this old car. Like, I had this new job. Like, I'm planning on switching. I was graduating from a two-year school, going to a four-year school. 
So taking on obviously some loans there. And I was just like, what are financially, loans? financially, like trying to make payments at this place, which is like Ugh. kind of, you know, and just me and Lonnie making payments. It was kind of like rough for me to just keep going. And my dad was like, oh, Steven, you should live at home. It just makes sense. You should live at home and save all your money. And then when you graduate college, you can have all the savings and put a down payment on a house or whatever. Finally, I know who to blame. Uh, it was your papa. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. In that sense, it did make a lot of sense. And of no, course it, it makes sense, but how much fun, fun are you going to have? It's not as fun. And I try to remember that, but anyways. And then I bought a car. Well, and stop it, was, it. And, and I was like, I because I needed a car. Yeah. I either needed to put a lot of money and fix mine, <laughs> but then how long would that no, last? No, you well, definitely I should. had to buy a car. Yeah, definitely. And then his um, car was on the brink of explosion. I could have bought it. Steven a, checked his oil one time. He's like, Lonnie, I checked my oil and there was none. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good. I don't know. Like, it just put me in like a, a tough spot. And I was just like, all right. And then also, like, just living with you guys is great and all, but like, I'm kind of like a picky ass fucking person. <laughs> Steven hates me. No. No. I just like. I don't know, it was just different. That's wrong. Like, and this was the first place, like, I've ever lived outside of my parents' house. And I was just getting used to, like, living with other people. And, you should like, just live in a commune with a bunch of cool guys. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be against living with you guys again. It'd be fun. But I just need to, like... So if there's ever an episode two of this podcast, it means we're living together again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, because Brad says, I hate you. Nope. Love you. Brad, why'd you leave? Oh. Yeah, why'd let's you take Brad? the spotlight off Steven. Yeah, let's take the spotlight off Steven. I left because I couldn't afford after Steven left. Well, you didn't pay anything. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> you could have stayed and kept me company, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally but get I it. But I would feel bad. Yeah, I, is yeah. What it is. I mean, that's... I felt... Well, okay, so... I was a... I feel like a piece of shit regardless because I, like, stayed here for free anyways, but, like... But at the same time, you know that we don't I just, care and yeah, that you should stay here as long as you want and All I'm care. saying is I don't give a shit. Uh, basically, I was in a tricky situation, and then I decided to come here instead of my parents' house, and I ended up crashing here, and then it just ended up being that. Uh, Steven and Lonnie were cool enough to, uh, you know keep me here and not like kick me out or some shit so i was just living here for free being a bum and then i got a shitty job at a uh <laughs> did you say that yeah, i don't I know mean, if you should say like we can believe it out it's it's shitty that it's in wisconsin because i don't make a nice minimum wage um i make like four dollars an hour so it i could literally i should really just go to minnesota if i want to work at because they make like nine dollars an hour plus tips, where I make four an hour plus tips. Because Wisconsin is a bullshit. Um. Anyways, and then so with Stephen moving out, I felt like it was all being put on Lonnie. Because honestly, it is being all put on Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I move out of Bowl B five. No, no, like it. So I just no. didn't want to feel like mooching. Yeah, I can understand. I don't know. It's just easier because Steven's my brother. And then like I wanted to stay and pay rent and like I don't know. split Steven's shit in half. But with that new car, he could not afford that. So then, I mean, that thus, it'd be that. what I was paying. Well, what Steven was paying before this car. Which he could no longer afford, and I could definitely not afford. Oh, oh shit! I need a better job, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <coughs> well, like, anyways, I'm gonna sip this bourbon and uh, tea. It's oh. water and water, you fucking asshole. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, so so I am not a up. sinner. I don't care. <laughs> Brad is a sinner. Yeah. I would never drink. <laughs> you guys see me drunk before? Woo. You just don't know it. It's so hot. Do you guys think drinking's bad? Nope. Like I mean, it's. I mean, it's actually it horrible for you. Do you well, for sure. I think it's literally alcohol poison. has those benefits, but you. Do you think it's morally drunk? bad? Morally, I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's think as so. morally. I don't bad. think it is either. It but is like, that, it's okay, okay, okay. Let's say. Let's I mean, say if you're um, getting trashed all the time. And like, let's say you are on a YouTube podcast and. 
there might be some children watching. Do you feel morally obligated to no. not promote drinking? No, fuck that. I honestly, we're not promoting drinking. We're just I don't drinking. Think that, yeah, I don't. That's bullshit. That people can it's even out say there, that. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's already there. it's everywhere. No, it's not out there. It's fucking everywhere. Just like cigarettes. Yeah. If we're smoking a cigarette, we're not fucking advertising yeah, for Camel or for sure. fucking Newports. We're just fucking doing what actual normal people do, but just on camera. Who gives a fuck? If any of you think it's some fucking dumb shit, <laughs> oh, I don't care. I will beat you up in <laughs> real life! I'll 1v1 <laughs> will... you in the Wildy! <laughs> I will 1v1 oh, you in the Wildy. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily bad either. I think I take Brad's stance, but a less dramatic. It's fucked but, up. <laughs> no, it's fucked okay, up. Okay, but we it's live stupid. in a different like age where like, I just feel a little you bit were, guilty at the same time because like I'm like I'm not responsible for my audience. Like I'm just doing whatever the no fuck I want. No jumper is literally that is not a good fucking weed. Which honestly is he is not, not a good example. It's, but <laughs> it's it's not anything. Weed is not anything worse than alcohol. It's just not legal. I don't think weed is bad either, but um, I don't think No Jumper is a good example. He would like do but this meth is what on I'm saying. camera. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> that okay, so are, are people everywhere just smoking weed? Are children everywhere just smoking weed because of No Jumper? They're just like, No Jumper's doing it. I'm going to smoke some weed. No, it's because their he friends talks are doing about, it. He talks about acid too. He, oh. He's filmed a, an acid trip of his. Well, hiking, like he's put this, like Which that, I just, would also. It's not, I mean, I don't know. If, I'm not doing acid because no jumper does yeah. acid. Like I know he does yeah. acid, and he's vlogged about it. I will never do acid. I have never done acid. Like fuck that. I'm not saying it's something like super bad. I mean, it's illegal. I just don't. The illegal thing, I guess, is. Different. I don't know. It's just it's fucking. I think that is so stupid that people. Are like okay, just because he's doing that. How do like, you feel I, about a Stephen Johnston? Uh, I I just think like we live in a different. We live Stephen in a weird Johnston age where is we, Stephen like, alive. We grew up with like the internet, and so you know yeah. kids are, are just well, like in, have there's influences out there everywhere. I, I get that it's and you kind just of have to like but you you have know. to like teach. But there's like if there's you're worried about this for kids. Ki kids I need never, to be taught to like make their own decisions about things. Yeah, that, and well, just know what's good and what's bad for them I to make decide all of my own decisions is all I'm saying like, I choose to do math every day I like I I just don't see the problem with I mean I see the problem with it but like I don't know most people are like not for and go oh I've never once done something and been like I'm doing this because they're doing it so I don't have I'm just like kind of making out conversation topics because I thought it'd be interesting, which it did because Brad had an emotional reaction, so that is interesting. <laughs> but um, I don't have any experience because I don't, I don't drink like on my YouTube channel, you know. Like I, I started. I there was a big point in my life where I didn't drink at all. Like I didn't drink from like probably age like 15 to. I didn't even drink on my 21st birthday. I didn't drink again until I was like 20, almost 22. Same here. Um, Pretty much. So um. I don't, I don't get in like any personal flack for like drinking because I never do that. We did, we've done yeah. like a couple videos where we were drinking like the New Year's one, which turned out to be like super funny. <laughs> That's I rewatched the New Year's really? vlog because I was doing daily vlogs, so I'm like, we're <laughs> drinking because it's New Year's, but it's we have to, I have to vlog, and it turned out to be like one of my favorite vlogs just because we're just like. We didn't care. Like, we were just, like, being ourselves, yeah. and it was really funny. And Steven's like, Ow, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> you literally said that. Really? Like, I just rewatched it the other day. It was so funny. And Donovan was there, and it was so funny. Um, but I do have personal flack for swearing on camera because I don't know. I started YouTube when I was 14. Like, I couldn't swear. I was living at my mom's house. Yeah. She would be mad at me. <laughs> but, like, I'm 22 now. And, like, there was a point in, like, 2016, maybe, where I decided on Lonnie Doe specifically that, like... Because before, like, I wasn't swearing, but I didn't feel like I was holding myself back either. I was just feeling like I've been doing this since I was 14 and I never swear on camera. I'm in the habit. Like, it's natural. So it didn't feel like I was, like, high ding that part of me you yeah. know what i mean like it just felt like like swear words just didn't come out of me yeah. in the same way that they do when i'm talking to you guys or something well, i definitely pe i feel like the only reason swearing is bad is like, cl like 
it just like closes you off or, or like kind of pushes you away from certain audiences just because yeah like, definitely like it's just not it's not worth it you know Maybe. it's not worth it to like push away those people who are, who are gonna be like whoa, whoa. like get like kind of weirded out by you swearing like i know like my parents like if they watch these videos They'll be like, oh, I don't like the Stephen and Brad are, my children are swearing. Brad is they have they know that yeah. <laughs> yeah. they have said that. Yeah. Don't say they won't they will. They they fucking have. Yeah, they have. Okay. They, okay. They but know I'm just saying, but, but they're not gonna watch this, it's like fifty minutes it's long. All, Fuck them. All but I'm just saying, like you, you can't help it. Like if that's no, what you do kidding. all the time. I'm totally I'm joking. Kidding. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, I love you guys. But I'm I would just never saying say from that. like from like a from like a if you're like being conscious about it, it's not probably not. Really okay, that's an interesting perspective. Cause well, okay, what, Brent? The way I see it is, everyone changes all the time, literally all the time. Yeah, everyone is changing. You're you're changing every every day forward. You are a new person, um, which some people may not see that, but I like to think of myself, which. Actually, I don't even really know the, the the correct definition of a realist, but I like to see myself as a realist. Like, I like to see things for what they are. And the way I see it is everyone is changing daily. Um, as long as they are themselves, who the fuck cares? Like, yes, I, I can say fuck, and your child might say fuck, but it is a freaking word. It's a word. Who cares? Like, it's not. Yeah, there's a some words up. are 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 yeah. offensive, but but f u c k is one of like the worst seen words out there, re regardless of the other ones. Uh, y you guys can assume what they are. I won't say them, but like f u c k. Big pussy. Who? Yeah. Like, who oh, cares? Well, oh. that's just one person using that word. Like, s your kid might. Say it, and you can say "ho." That's not a good word to say. Don't say that. But like, it's not offensive. Yeah. Unless you're I mean, using it a, in an offensive manner. You're, I just a matter of perspective. You're like you're a fucking ape, like that guy <laughs> said on the fucking game the other day. Like, <laughs> it's just not. It's just. It's stupid. I think it's just. It's stupid. You just need to. If you're putting stuff on the internet, you just. If you just need to be like. You just need to make a decision. Are you just gonna like yeah. post what is real, or are you gonna like take a conscious like, stance and be like, to I want, I want to just like it's because in my mind, it's just at from like a business standpoint, it's yeah. probably not that's smart what to people do are it saying though. because like, you're pushing away that younger well, that's audience what's or those wrong. people is are gonna that, be like, uh, <clears throat> that's what I think is wrong. Is everything's from a freaking business standpoint? If I had a YouTube channel, I would be literally who I am. I'd be naked all, all the that's, time. That's all I think anybody should ever be is who they are i agree with that i mean i but yes but there, also there is a good like pure thing about that. no i do get i knew i do get what you're saying well, though because yeah. that makes a lot of sense I think, and that's how you become successful is but from the business standpoint i think what brad honest. is saying is more creatively fulfilling and yeah. just something that i would prefer to watch personally I agree with that, but I also think what Steven's saying makes sense, like, if you're trying to make money. It makes perfect it, sense. Well, I just if mean, you're, yeah. at the same Yeah, like, time, if you're so. gonna swear on your YouTube channel, you should do it from the beginning. You shouldn't do what I did and didn't just by habit and then start, because then you're just gonna Well, and that's, like, angry. weird for audiences, because they're, like, they start, they grow up watching you, and they're, like, yeah. oh, they, they watch you every day, and then all of a sudden, one day, they're, like... Oh what? fuck me! Like it's yeah. like whoa. It's it's just, still, yeah, it's still, 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 yes, it's, yes, it's surprising. But the people that can't continue to watch you, yeah. maybe yes, yes, maybe they don't like you. But that's because they they are seeing the old you, and they can't accept that you as a person have changed. I don't think also, that. Also, also, no, they can't. They, I don't know if, who you're they talking about at this point, well. but I can say that I about, have not changed. I'm not yeah. talking about. I was about just not anyone. sharing all of myself. At I'm the, not. I'm not talking about anyone yeah. in particular. I'm just saying, if you cannot say, Ashley, what you're saying is the perfect example. You were not yourself. People, if the people that can't accept what has changed about you. Yeah which is on your YouTube channel, but that's really who you are, you say. They didn't yeah. know that. They it's, knew it's of so you as what you were. Because it's just so, it's so weird thinking that 
Because <coughs> obviously when you make a YouTube video, and you make YouTube videos for what, like nine years, like I have been, like, it's r it sounds stupid, but it's hard to imagine people actually watching them. Well, they well, that but, long. what I'm saying, or just like, at all, like, like you're, it's hard for to me for me to imagine that people actually like look forward to things that I make or like expect me yeah. to be a certain thing. You know what I mean? But like, it makes total sense. Like, if you watched Lonnie Dose for three years and suddenly I'm just like, fuck my dad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're like, whoa! I thought you made videos for kids. Yeah. Stop it! Yeah. You're different now, well, and I don't just, like that. That's which just, I'm not. I've always been that. I just. I, that's I got I'm into saying. a habit. Well, that's, what, I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's I just think that's so stupid that people will stop watching. Okay, actually, sorry. It's stupid for those of you that are like age appropriate and stuff like that. But like, because I can I can understand age appropriate where some parents what they don't want their kids watching that. But like, the people that can't accept that. Okay. This person changes. Everyone changes. Maybe he's yeah. been the same way, and they just have not been shown that. Like, that's what they know. So, in a sense, from their perspective, you've changed. Yeah, and that's why they stop watching you. Like, like so people many... that can't accept that and still like you, like, then whatever. Who it's cares? It's just like, if you change, like, the littlest thing, you'll get that you've changed comments, I feel like. Because, like, from... Because I've obviously been... I don't know. Whatever. Recent, I dyed my hair like a month ago, and I'm getting like your emo now comments, <laughs> and I, I got okay, those. Well, if I, I, I just want to say one thing about all this, like basically what I was trying to say really quick is, if first of all that's stupid, like a, a little appearance change, like yeah. obviously it's probably from kids and they're just they just don't understand, but that's so silly to me yeah. as a 22 year old person who's, a, who's not emo. emo. I'm not emo. I'm 22. That's fine. I don't. I don't put myself into those categories. I'm not in middle school, but it's totally cool if you do. But um, you, if people actually change, like on a deeper level than in their appearance, you weirdo. Uh, well, they it's people change because they want to. And the thing on YouTube, if you're criticizing someone for changing, you're criticizing them for for wanting to change because nobody, nobody, like you can't force someone to change. They have to want to change. So and which changes know. make them happy about themselves? Yeah. Okay. So even if you, you would, see it as a negative if, thing, like it's it's if, not for if you. Lonnie, <laughs> if Lonnie had black hair before, he wouldn't have changed it. I'm saying like if he just did not change it, he had black hair before. I I'm, mean, I'm not even talking I about like, like something like that, well, like, like an appearance. Dude. But I'm talking about like on a deeper thing, like if you change how you act, like if you change something about your perspective about the world. Well, it's still world. not any different, like. You so, yeah, sure. Yeah, I also did dye wanted, my hair because I was born and I wanted to. You wanted to change. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, it just, like, it's... I suppose it's, it goes for both sides. Yeah. There's people that would not have been like, okay, Lonnie's emo, and then you dye your hair black, and they're like, Lonnie's emo. Yes, they, you've gotten that, that phrase before, but, like, just because you changed the color of your hair... To some people, they're like, okay, he's emo now. I, no, that which makes I, no I sense. Which I imagine all those comments have to come from kids, right? Like, like they're just from yeah. people who well, don't. Well, it might not even be that, dude. Like, it could be someone. Kids or someone on the mental capacity of a it's kid. Just, it's just stupid. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. I, change well, is change. Everyone changes. Everything changes. All right. What Nothing is, what lasts is forever. Back on the subject of, like, just, like, putting things on the internet. Yeah. And people's perception about it is... I mean, even when it comes to just being, like, you know, an everyday person going to work every day, I think that you just have to, at some point, decide that there are, or understand that there are some things that you just can't control, like people's perceptions about what they're, about you and what they're yeah, watching. Yeah, definitely. And you just have to, like, decide, okay, I'm just going to do what I want to do, and I hope yeah. that the people that are watching like it, and if they don't, I hope at least the people that like it will stay, and yes. at least it'll grow from that that point on. Yeah, at least yeah, that yeah. way you'll be happy, they'll be yeah. happy. Because if you, it'll work if, out for the best. If you're not doing what you like on at least I guess on YouTube, because it's the only thing I've had experience in, yeah. it's you're just gonna want it to stop because it's just not fun. You have to want to do it. It's not something unless you're making a shit ton of money, then you could probably motivate yourself to do it. <laughs> but I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I just like eventually that will run out, and you'll have to want to do it. <laughs> I just think it's not like 
it's not worth just sitting there worrying about every little thing about what people are going to oh, yeah, think definitely. about if they watch you. I mean, you can't do that. I, I don't do that. Definitely. Yeah. I don't. I'm sorry if I gave off that opinion on the podcast. No, you don't. Because uh, I, when I change my appearance, when I get a tattoo, when I get a piercing, I'm like, I'm doing this for me. Like, I don't even tell my parents I'm doing that. I'm not telling my YouTube audience, <laughs> fuck that shit. Like, that's just for me, dude. Yeah. Brad went downstairs, but uh, we should probably end the podcast. It's been like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's we should. Still like podcasts are so fun. You could just keep going forever. Yeah, dude. Like I could like do this real. forever. It's not like you're not planning anything. It's just you're just going. I it's really good. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Let us know what you guys thought of this. I don't know what video we're gonna put because this is gonna go up on YouTube. I imagine. Oh gosh, I'm just like imagining you like editing this right now because Little the beats. more of like podcasts, you don't really have to edit it that much, right? Yeah, but this is we're not normal. But we're gonna have to edit <laughs> some of this. Yeah. Like, Brad said some gnarly stuff. Yeah. <laughs> whoever doesn't like him can get the fuck over it. And- <laughs> oh my god! Uh, whoever doesn't like him can get the fuck over it or unfollow. Oh my fuck. god! I'm sorry, dude. That's okay. how my Twitter is. That's how my Twitter will be. Brad's Twitter is 1 800 Anyone Brad. That it's very me funny to me. <laughs> on Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Like, <laughs> if you don't like what I do, just unfollow me. It's just, not. It's okay. Just follow you can, Brad. You can. You can dislike how I am, and that's okay. And then you can just unfollow if you don't want to ever see it again. I don't even. Other than that, if you like it, or if you don't care, you can just keep following. I've played Pokemon Soul Silver in my life, and this is the end of the first podcast. We don't (laughs) have a name for it. I'll think of one later, I guess. Sobercast. Any sobercast. Yeah. What are some ideas for names that we have? What are some ideas? (laughs) Yeah. We we like joked about it in the group chat. I guess I've never even thought about it. Yeah. We joked. about it. Stop <laughs> it! Okay, we gotta put that out of the room next to- Fuck sake, why does it do that? <laughs> we thought about calling it the sober cast and being obviously um, no. drinking water. We thought about... That's it. I don't like, I don't <laughs> I don't like know. that. If Donovan was here, we could call it the group chat podcast, but try this. he's not here. Try this. Uh, Either way. Maybe later. Try it. Let us know what you guys think of it. Do you want more? Was this awful? Was it great? Was it uh, handsome? Was it you know, impeccable? I like it's awful it was fun. So it was a lot of fun. Was it, it despicable or impeccable? Was it or despicable or me? Or was this podcast better than Despicable Me 2? Let me know in the comments. Thank okay, you guys for watching. Despicable 3? I hope so. I'm going to watch it. Okay, goodbye.